Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph of the day. That's the facade of uh, my studio, our actual house, uh, which is partly a studio because um, it's like a gallery of my artworks. And uh, I took that many years ago. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Psalm 119 verse uh, 1. It says, Joyful are people of integrity who follow the instructions of the Lord. Here's my poem. Result of obedience. When you follow the Lord's commands, you will not be overwhelmed by life's demands. Those who live a life of integrity, they will have joy even in adversity. When you follow the ways of Jesus Christ, there is peace that will envelop your life. Follow the instructions of the Lord. It will please Him and bring Him laud. Here's my essay. Baker's Evangelical Dictionary defines joy as happiness over an, anticip an anticipated or present good. It is Sama in Hebrew and covers a wide range of human experiences from sexual love to marriage to birth of children, the gathering of harvest, military victory, or drinking wine. On the spiritual level, it refers to the extreme happiness with which the believer contemplates salvation and the bliss of the afterlife. Do you have joy in your heart? How do we know if we have it? I used to think that I have the joy of the Lord, but I only had fleeting happiness when I achieved the goal I set for myself. As the spiritual joy was mentioned in the definition by the Evangelical Dictionary, it is an extreme happiness that is expecting always the bliss of eternal life, which will be granted to those who love the Lord. When you follow God's word, you will experience joy. Prayer. Lord, grant me the gift of joy. You promised it as one of your Spirit's fruits. Reflection. How can we gauge that we have the joy of the Lord. I think um, in, I'm not sure if it's in the Corinthians or in Thessalonians that Paul mentions that um, when you are thankful for whatever it is that is happening in your life, whether it's good or bad, circumstances when you have plenty or you have nothing, and you start to thank the Lord um, that you are being allowed to experience all these things and do not whine and do not are not bitter about the things that are the circumstances that are happening in your life then I think that's one uh, way that we can gauge that uh, we have the joy of the Lord another another um, manifestation or another indication that we know that we have the joy of the Lord is when we um, when we are intimate with Him. When we are intimate with Him, we will be thankful and we will um, we will magnify at His love for us and how much of um, the things that he has that he has given us when we can also gauge that we have the joy of the Lord if we follow his ways if we hunger for his word if we want to be closer to him and know his character and follow his commands um, then we will have the joy of the Lord uh, on the opposite side of that uh, we don't have the joy of the Lord if we are constantly um, living a life of um, dishonesty, a life of denial, a life of um, running away. 
um, cause, cause when in life, uh, we are actually going to suffer in this life, in this world, because this is not really what we're designed for. We're designed to be with our Father, with our Heavenly Father. And our life here on earth is just momentary. It's, it's going to end. But our life with the Lord is going to be eternal. So joy is a byproduct of our relationship with the Lord. It's, that's why in Galatians it says that it's one of the fruits of the Spirit. It's not something we can achieve. It's something that we can experience after we have Seek the Lord with all our heart, our mind, our soul, our spirits, our bodies. Thanks for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artwork and photographs. Have yourself a wonderful day. Have the joy of the Lord. Enjoy it. And um, no matter what happens, no matter what circumstances you have right in your life right now, know that He is there, that He watches, and He knows exactly what you're going through. God loves you so much, and so do I.